This is Twit. My BB, the free and open source forum software, My BB, was originally My Bulletin Board. Then it was shortened to My B Board, <laughs> and now finally to My BB. So they probably because no one knows what a bulletin board is anymore. <laughs> That's I would right. guess, right? <laughs> exactly. So kids, these used to be called can't. forums before they were forums. That's or right. Bulletin boards. Yeah. That's right. They're not. They're not going to be able to make it any shorter than my my BB. BB. Yeah. Yeah. So of course it's written in PHP oh, with a. With I used a my, to use my PHP BB. Is that the same? Oh, no, I don't think it is. Okay. I think, it, there's another one. There's that too. <laughs> okay. Yes, another one. <laughs> All right. This one is is written in PHP with a MySQL database backend. Uh, it's, the good news is it's not massively popular. It's got around 2,100 potentially vulnerable domains showing MyBB present. Um, until, a patches, until patches were released on March 19th, it had a pair of critical vulnerabilities that could be chained to achieve remote code execution without the need for prior access to a privileged account. The flaws were discovered by two independent security researchers, Simon Scannell and Carl Smith. And they were reported to the MyBB team on February 22nd. And as I said, on March 10th, an update was released to close the holes. So that's a nice, you know, February 22nd. So what, 18 days? Uh, no, February only has 28 days. So, you know, like a little over two weeks and bang, we now have a, a hole closed. So according to the researchers, the first issue, a nested auto URL persistent cross-site scripting vulnerability uh, stems from how MyBB parses messages containing URLs during the rendering process, thus enabling any unprivileged forum user to embed stored cross-site scripting payloads into threads, posts, and even private messages. That's not good. Uh, the their, My BB's advisory said, quote, the vulnerability can be exploited with minimal user interaction by saving a maliciously crafted My Code message on the server. They said, for example, as a post or private message and pointing a victim to a page where the content is parsed, which, you know, is trivial to do. The second vulnerability is a, a, an SQL injection in a forum's theme manager that could result in an authenticated remote code execution. A successful explo exploitation occurs when a forum admin with the can manage themes permission, imports a maliciously crafted theme, or a user for whom the theme has been set visits a forum page. So as so by chaining these, it's pretty simple to do. As a result, the researchers write up, they said that, quote, a sophisticated attacker could develop an exploit for the stored cross-site scripting vulnerability and then send a private message to a targeted admin of a MyBB board. As soon as the admin opens the private message on his own trusted forum, the exploit triggers. An RCE vulnerability is automatically exploited in the background and leads to a full takeover of the targeted MyBB forum. The researchers waited eight days after the patches were made available to publish their work, which included, unfortunately, a complete soup to nuts description and discussion with examples of the exploit. So while previously an attacker may have needed to be sophisticated, as they said in their write-up, uh, when armed with their complete and detailed how-to not so much. Uh, was eight days long enough for them to wait? Did every instance of my BB get patched and updated during the interim? Well, we can certainly hope so, but we pretty much know that that won't have happened. So maybe my BB is not as not big enough a target to cause much pain, 
on the other hand, if any high value sites are running my BB, I'll bet you, I'll bet you that that state actors have built themselves a database that cross references all of the valuable targets with all of the publicly exposed technologies they have. For example, I, I, there's just no way that China and Russia, they seem to be where these attacks are coming from. I mean, and not just at the U.S., but globally. I'll bet you that their teams have a database such that when uh, it, a problem is announced by F5, they type F5 into their database and it tells them every valuable high profile target using F5 hardware and they immediately launch attacks based on on the the reverse engineering of that vulnerability that's the world we're in today so if there were any high profile users of my bb uh and and this release came out uh, I, you know, i'll bet you that it didn't take long for an, an attack to get launched that's you know again isn't that what any serious attacker would do. They would build a reverse index of all the technologies used by all the, the targets they care about. And what we, if, if, if we learned anything from the last few months of attacks, certainly from, from the solar winds, where we saw a seriously committed threat actor who we believe to have been state sponsored, you know, they we saw them do absolutely everything right. Well, part of doing it right is building an index of who's using which technologies on the internet. That has to exist. 